Right, how are we all doing? Um, we're here for a little river bank of video. I'm on my boat. Um, even better, I'm Covid free. Managed to get rid of the dreaded lurgy. Go two years, we aren't getting Covid. Uh, we're getting... Yeah, uh, I, want, I want to get me on life support, but yeah, it's not been bad for the last two weeks. I've been in a bit of a... Not well, bad flu. No energy to do anything. Really, really, really bad. So, uh, a little bit behind with videos. So, I might, I might end up missing a few weeks. The usual Friday spot, but I'll try and get one done today. I've um, got a few fish already today. Quite a few perch. Uh, fishing from the light, light lows. Uh, probably we're going to, be able to have some, moved up the stream a little bit. I'm going to try a little spot just up here. So, we'll see if we can catch some fish. Actually, mosey on over. See if we can catch some fish. Then we'll just see what happens. A little. Babylon. There's a little small, small inlet here under some trees. There's usually a few snags around it, but hopefully I might pick up a few fish just to get some, some fish on film. Just that bit. So, um, my, my little put little hazwing on. Let's have another cast from here first, see what happens before I mess about with hazwing. See how close I need to be. That's straight in trees. <laughs> That's straight. This is one of them spots that's always got perch on it. So you know what'll happen today, don't you? Nothing. Not a single one. Really. Sometimes some little chewier as well. Uh, two casts in and not a bump, it's not a good sign. We might have to go find some fish somewhere. That's what it is, river fishing when you're on boat, it's not it's not always fish or chuck. It is a great way to fish and it is a good way catching a few more fish and especially fishing spots that you wouldn't fish from the bank. Either side here we've got trees overhanging, there's no pegs. I not always mean it's fantastic fishing. That's a perch though. A little angry perch, more fun on this gear. A little M LMAB rod, a little trout rod, 0.5 to, to 6 gram. Not exactly rocket science, is it? Fishing, fishing light. Three grams you get. That's all I've got is a three gram just to help me cast. Uh, and one of them little Kofi Bleak. The Kofi Bleaks. Fishing them quite a lot of their little LMAB stuff. One because it's it's new, it's oh, new to me. It's new stuff. Um, it's some, you know, rather than just shad, I've got loads of shads. Rather than just shads, it's a different shape shad. That's a bleak shad. Um, a lot of fish to try this, this sort of time of year. Um, and, and I've got some in the shop, there's a quite a shop. Uh, but I'm not just going to do it for that, I just, just like them. You know, there's some fishing things like the uh, might fish it later on, the, the drunk, drunk dancers, twin tail things. Um, not really use the bigger stuff, just yet. I've got all of the coffee perch, big, bigger shad, but I've not used those yet. Just because I'm, I have got my pike, pike rod, but I've not really been pike fishing. But I caught a couple of first things this morning. I've got my little pipe fix. Um, I'm going to put Lecky on because I need to get closer to that. You can probably see a little outlet there. Small outlet, I don't know what's, what, what's feeding it to be honest. It's not from streets, from rain or anything, I don't know where it comes from, but usually a little bit of a trickle, but it's not much. But this, this bit of rivers tend to be overhanging, overhanging willows. It can be quite featureless. You know, the only Changing, but the only thing is you feature is you, you push it on the side and a bit of varying depth. Um, it's 15 here in edges, you know, four or five in edges, a bit of weed. Um, and to be honest, if you troll, uh, did a little bit earlier, 
they do a bit of trolling and such as that, you'll catch fish, you catch fish. Once you've caught a few, caught a few little pike. It, catching fish is what we want to do in it, like Scott says, but you know, trolling's good, it's a great method. Um, but it can be, on this, I think it can be a little bit boring, so I switch and then um, just do, just do light sticking. I might sometimes troll a bit of barren bit of water just to see if I can find some fish and then I'll, then I'll start casting around. But obviously this sort of spot, as long as I can get into it, yeah. It's not true. It's going to have fish somewhere. Fish it slow. Let it sink to the bottom. You have to slowly work these, you know, small trout, a small perch. I'm going to nail it pretty quick. I'm just seeing some shrub on the surface there, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going to catch a few fish. If, if there's fish there, you're going to catch them straight away. And you're not, you're not, I've, I've not got a few there, but you know, you're looking for been this morning, even, but you know, yesterday, Sunday today, so. Could have been some of yesterday fishing, might just not be here. We'll kind of, we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll move and I'll see if I can find some more likely looking spots and we'll, we'll give those a go. Right, so I tell you what, let's let's say uh, let's say you've got your first boat and you're off fishing and you don't know where really where to, where to target. So yeah, you can you can be casting all these features, all these trees, and you're gonna, you're gonna catch fish. It's slow, slow, steady away sport. You're not it's not gonna be thick and fast. Um, so let's say you've got a basic fish finder. I've got I've got a fancy one, bird, whatever. It's just a fish finder. So if you get a fish finder or you've got a boat, it's great. I'll tell you depth. That's your that's your first thing is depth. So I've got currently I've got 12 foot depth. I've got a seven centimetre jointed with bale shad wrap. Roughly give it. 20 foot out back, nice and steady pace. This is I'm going 2.2 mile an hour. That's to go over on this one. I can go, go a little bit slower if it's a bit of current or it's a bit of wind, but two mile an hour. It's 12 foot, it's eight foot, it's back of that seven foot. But it's up and down a little bit here. Little features. We'll just see how long it takes to catch a fish. Um, just bump bottom then, so you'll find a, a repiler does. Easy does up, up to eight, nine, ten foot. One of these at this sort of pace. So 15 again. Been up and down as, as the contours. 15, 16 foot. So I need to just tuck in a little bit. Don't be too far out. But I'm, I mean, if it's too deep. If I'm trolling over 20 foot of water, we fish somewhere, but you're going to tend to miss them. Um, if you want to catch fish trolling to eight foot again, if you want to catch fish trolling. Try and try and tuck into margins a little bit. Try and follow the, the, the contours. Stick to a similar depth. If you just save your snaggy bottom. Ideally, um, what you'll do is you'll, you'll feel it bump bottom. You'll feel it hit bottom at some point, and you'll and you'll just kind of glance to your to your finder, see what depth you're at. And let's say you know, let's say eight eight and nine foot should hit bottom should this. And if you're fishing in eight and nine foot water all the time, just wind in a little bit of line, and you'll be, be just above bottom. And save you hitting, hitting bottom all the time, snaggy up, that's trolling. Um, you will snag up a lot if you if you're here trying to hit bottom. Um, you could fish shallower lows and you can troll a little bit shallower. It saves you snagging up, but often you want to get get it down a little bit. Um, sometimes trolling is just is just a steady away. Make sure your drag's not too tight, just in case you hit a snag. And a little bit bit of give on your line saves you snapping. You can sometimes get your low back then. A bit, it's a bit uneven, uneven, we're back at 16 foot again here. Can't too, too close in because of the trees. That's the general rule, so ideally find somewhere that's got some similar depths. This this river is one of them sort of northern rivers that's been, one point or other, been um, dug out in places to make it navigable. There's barges and things come up down here, you know, big boats and that. Eight foot again now, yeah, so it's up and down, but in the middle it's a bit deep, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of features. 
you have got some, you know a willow tree hanging over here you, you might find that you want to stop and just cast around those sort of, sort of spots but what I, I tend to do is I tend to do a little bit of this well I fit on a spot like this but I'm not, I've not been catching no, it would take me all day to fish both sides of this just, just casting especially with a low and slow method of a small low so I try and move a bit of bit of water you might find some features you might find you might see a you might see a shoal of bait fish or predators on, on, on finder and you can stop and cast that kind of thing might be a might be a pontoon or a big old bargain tree that you want your fancy casting round I mean if you're trolling you can just you can just drag it in you don't have to do anything I, I sometimes like to just give it a little give it a little twitch and a little pause and a jerk it speeds it slows it down <clears throat> generally if they're there they'll, they'll, they'll take it the barrel is making a bit of noise as well in the water so that's another added attractor and if we do finally catch a fish you can usually tell what it is just by how it feels how it hits and how it, how it wiggles about and end the rod Decent chunk here, 100, foot, 100 yards, sorry. Nothing. Not here, let's move. We'll go somewhere else. 17 folks, a bit, a bit uneven depth. I'll be honest, I don't really catch much here, so I'm not expecting too much, but. I bet you're looking at all these trees and thinking, why don't you stop and cast? Well, you, you could do, you know, you can fish bigger loads, bike loads. Get some baits under trees, spinner baits, and chatter baits are quite a good idea to chuck under trees. Um, big softies, jerk baits, pull them out, that's good, you know, bust a jerk, that kind of thing. Fish all, that kind of thing. Nice and steady, get your, get your spot lock on and your lecky engine. There's so many ways you can fish when you're fishing from a boat. Um, I'm fishing from a boat, so, you know, people ask me, why can't I? I'm not, I'm not an expert on boat fishing, but I do it. Do it quite a little bit, quite a bit. I don't I always make videos on it just because it's a bit, it can be a bit of this. Filming all day just for this, you know, I'm about a day when nothing much happens. Um, boat fishing, first of all, safety is expensive. Um, it's great once you set up. You know, I've got my little my little setup now and it's perfect, isn't it? I've just come out on my own. Come out with a buddy, Neil comes with me. He's in New York at the minute, isn't Neil? Um, but it's expensive, you know, your boat, you're going you're gonna to find bargains at some point and you're going to find some expensive boats at the point, so it's what you want. And it's the problem with it, you buy a boat and you want a bigger boat and a better boat and a faster boat and a wider boat and one with a, one with a roof on, one without a roof, all that kind of thing. So it's getting what you want is the hard part. All the bits that go with it, but you know, a boat might be a thousand pound to five thousand pounds to ten thousand pounds. Um, lecky engine, thousand pounds to Three or four thousand pound fish finder, exact same thousand pound to three or four. You might get a fish finder for three hundred quid, but smaller screens, smaller, um, less detail, less features, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's move out. Where we've got some canoeists coming out down here. We've got a, some rowers. We've got a boat coming to the night. Make a move. It's twenty foot here. I'm not going to catch here. Yeah, so it's um, expensive hobby. Engines. You know, engine off back. 300 quid for a second hand engine. If you're lucky with small horsepower, you might get one with. Mine's a 10 horsepower. Um, you're looking at 12 quid. Um, well, yeah, just goes on and on. Then you've got, you've got to have insurance for your boat. It was about 50 quid for a year for this sort of size boat, 12 foot, containing. And you need to have uh, a river license or a canal license if you're fishing. Uh, and if you're fishing a lake, you might need to let the license for a lake. Uh, and you'd also need, so this bit here, you see, the free fishing, there's no clubs, there's no pegs anywhere. The other bits will be one club for this half a mile stretch, another club for another half mile stretch, another club for another half mile stretch, and it can be expensive. Um, yeah, I've never ever been been pulled while I've been on boat 
by anybody, bailiffs or whatever. But if you did, in theory, pepper fishing rights, all that lot, you can have your boat and everything to coffee. So get insured, do it all properly, it's going to cost you, did I say, insurance 50 quid, boat license, I think it's 100, around 130 quid for a 30 day explorer license. That allows you, that allows you 30 times on water in a year. Yeah, so that's it. So we'll, we're going to make a move now and uh, try and catch some fish. This is what it is. This is boat fishing for me. Steady away. You don't always have to be a, catching a million fish and catching the biggest fish, you know. If you ought to do that, yeah, school to every, every spot you've ever caught, better fish from. Spend a lot of time fishing those spots, but just for fishing, you know. Nice day, it's not, it's not red hot. 19 degrees, a bit of cloud cover, a bit of wind. Eight foot, just bank bottom there. There we go. So I said we'll catch along this strip. This is a perch. Just shelled up a little bit to eight foot. Again, this is a 7 to 21 gram rod, so catching them all day on, on, on troll is not exactly mega fun, so I prefer to do a bit of casting. So we might do a little bit of casting while we're here now, so a little bit of a breeze. I'm going to have to get Aswing out to get that breeze. But again, there's no reason why you can't just you know, cast these kind of spots. As soon as it shallowed up there and it was, you know, eight foot, then seven foot, then back down to nine foot, bump bottom a couple of times and I caught a fish straight away, so sometimes that little change. So it's just finding, finding those little, little bit of features where fish are. And that's what trolling should be used for. You can catch some nice fish on it. You troll a certain, certain spots. You know, you can get a, get a big diving low down and get, you know, noisy vibrate and you can pick up some good fish. Um, I had some fish earlier on that were about you know, a pound and a half sort of size and uh, I could only get one troll, I kept jigging and nothing but when I went through trolling getting the lure right down that's when they were taking so you know, some days that's the method you want we'll get lucky down I'll fish with Parla first Ooh. I can always fish a softy as well. Camera up, not quite tall enough to pick everything up. I wouldn't normally be stood up and try to fish sat down just for camera and get my ugly mug on. Uh, so you can see what, what you end up doing I and mean, then Say if you catch a few fish doing this, you can then try fishing softies. You know, a little bit more, more of a finesse approach. I mean, 
mean, I've not got spot lock on, just have a little drift about and a little tootle about, see what I can find, but spot lock it. Yeah. Perchy perch. I'll say, we're not, we're not mega, not massive fish. I prefer to catch them. Well, on that. I prefer to catch them casting than, than trolling, but trolling's a good method and it helps you find the fish. I'm just getting tangled as well. Are you kidding me? Yeah! In mid water, it's 10 foot. Up mid river. That's a fish. I was just going to say, every now and again, a better fish will pop up. Oh, that's a perch because it. <laughs> It's got to be a pike, but oh, that's a perch. But every now and again, a bigger fish will show up. It's got to be a pike, surely. <laughs> For a second, I just, I just saw a tail and went for a perch. Just jump. You know what happens in videos with me with, and fish and hooks? Let's not have that happen again. Yeah, I'm not after no no monster fish. Pike has spawned a while ago, perch has spawned a while ago, so nothing's mega, nothing's massive. If you catch a big, if you catch a perch, some of them perch up this morning, you know, a pound, pound and a half. But they're, you know, they're hollow. They're not, they're not chunky fish. Sometimes these ones are even in better condition than, than the big ones. It's a bit of sport, good bit of sport. Watching kingfishers, watching world goodbye. Red kites, seen heron this morning. Cheers, kid. Like my own company, I know some people don't, but I do this all day. You know, I've got, yeah, I've got sponsors, I've got social media, all that kind of thing to keep up with. Who cares? Just go around catching some fish. You don't have to keep putting up a million pictures every day of fish. I've done that before. It's kind of going over the same stuff. So, I'll go out, do this, probably catch, I don't know. Let's say you catch 100 fish in a day. It's not all massive. And for me as well, it's probably, like I said, I've just had COVID for two weeks. Been in a bit of a bummer. I know you can go fishing, but I've just not felt like going fishing, so I've missed out on so, getting out and making your little fishing session. So today it's just about me going out and catching some fish. It's not about making a video, it's about me going out and catching some fish. That will be all for the entertainment because I can't fish next weekend. So that's you know, another two weeks where I'm probably not going to get fishing. So I thought, well, let's get out today. I only decided at midnight last night. Made the call. Midnight. I'm up at half four. 
had no sleep. I won. I'll anchor up and go to sleep on the boat. Do what you want. So yeah, uh, next weekend. <laughs> that way. Next weekend. Next Friday. Oh, when this video, if I get, get a video out of this, when you're watching this video, me and Neil and another lad called Steve. Back to both Byron Neil's mate. <laughs> Off to see the prodigy <laughs> in concert. Can't wait. Three old codgers going to watch the prodigy. Join you and Zata. Chuck some shapes about. And Saturday it's rugby magic weekend. The bit from Newcastle. Watching the Mighty Tigers. I said destroy Leeds, but Leeds did well this weekend. We've got dirty rhinos, so let's take two points off those again. We're rhinos. We're rhinos. Then Sunday, spent with our little Charlie. You can't fish every day, and you can't go to rugby every day. So yeah, today's just about getting out and having a bit of fun and catching a few fish and like I say, you've seen, this is what I do. I'll go on, I'll do this all day, so like I say, unless I find something, another little feature that looks exciting, I'll just... I don't know what I'll put in this video. this. Oh, he's off. Oh, that was a better fish as well. <laughs> I'm turning wrong engine off. Numpty. So he's not normally trolling, I've left it. Oh, that, that was a pike and not a perch. <laughs> turning wrong engine off. <clears throat> Sun's out, gun's out. Time you get all your gear on, it stopped raining again. British weather. Love it. We're back cranking because softies weren't doing out. Odd fish. More snaggers than anything. Fish soft is a lot lower. You're getting all snags on with us. And this river is snaggy. Hey, you're a punchy. <laughs> oh. oh, every point. He's good. Some more boat fishing costs. 
more you think, the more you fish, and the more you think about it, the more there's um, costs. So I'm running, currently running front motor on electric battery. So you buy a marine leisure battery for 100 quid. And then you decide you're fed up with carrying a big lump of, well, battery is just ridiculous out of a lump of lead. So you buy a cheaper, uh, sorry, a lighter one, lithium battery. Lithium battery might cost you 400 quid. That's what I did. Great battery, lasts a lot, lot longer than my old battery. Miles lighter, it's about 6 kg compared to 23 or something. Then you've got your um, launch fees on your uh, launch boat. You know, you might be lucky at yours, got you launch it for nothing, but for where I launch it, it's £15 to go. So every time you go fishing, £15, seven quid fuel, day tickets or yearbooks. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five low bag, five low boxes in here, all full of lows. Plus my big Savage Gear bag, got all pike lows in. <laughs> all bits and bobs that go on side, you know. Extra set of tools that just stay in boat all the time. Got little G clamps, not, not G clamps, little clamps, ropes and things like that. You got your trailer, new tyres on your trailer, bearings. Don't forget your boat service. Filter and all that kind of stuff, spark plugs. What if you're no good at all that kind of stuff? So yeah, on when you see it on, on YouTube and stuff, it's boat fishing day. It is. It's not so expensive. So don't get me wrong, I've got mine now. So bulk of payments is there. You know, every year I'm going to pay boat insurance, launch fees, river license, that kind of stuff. I can go fishing when I want, but. putting on a definite four or five hundred quid extra a year just on, on your boat, just on running it. If you've got a bigger boat you store it somewhere in a, in a marina that might cost you might cost you a couple hundred quid a month, I don't know what it costs actually. Raining again. Waterproofs. Guess where mine are? Okay. So we're going to do is troll back down to this corner and then I'm going to have a little PP off camera. And we'll go find some new water because it's gone quiet here. Start trolling this bit just because um, I just noticed I've not actually mapped it out on my on my uh, sonar maps. I thought, well, I'll just slow troll it and map it, see what depths are. Had a couple of bike, 
uh, flick camera on the middle of that. Oh, that one's just a boat. It's a boat can pass. Carry on, see what I can catch. I'll catch some more, probably. We're always, always drift down here. It comes a bit, a bit later on, on the way back. Just drift down, cast in, see what happens. Here is I get I've got that big savage here back net. Net off the side, and more than that. You don't scare them off. I've had plenty today, I did it earlier on today, I caught quite a lot of fish so I'm not too close. But you can catch quite a few from the spot if you don't put them all back in and scare them all off. That's how you get one perch, but quite a few times so you do bag up.
mind. Come on, little kid. There it's on. Save the hooky thing, can it? Right, that's it. That's my little video for today. Cheers for watching. Everything's going to be there. I got camera out because I got flat car. Because back upstream, you know, an hour's drive back upstream, it was absolutely bouncing down. So I just put everything away, cameras and that, nobody getting it wet through. Um, so I made most of it, came downstream while it was raining. The sun's come out now, a little breeze getting up, so I'm just starting to dry out again. Um, yeah, that's it, a little look at my what I do on a weekend. I don't make too many videos like this because catching loads of fish and we are sounding I don't want to sound big head for that because it, 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 it's just that that's what it is it's catching fish because when you're on a boat you know you especially when you scale down you're going to catch fish all day there's a lot of river to go at if you're really really struggling stick to trolling but you saw a little bit of trolling find some fish then start casting around catch some more fish enjoy it uh, and that's boat fishing um, cost you a lot of money if you want to do it uh, it's my little lobby keeps me going and uh, it's my most of my weekends, me and Neil will probably do this when, when he gets free next. That's what we do, um, especially through the summer. Winter time, you know, it's hard work. We do catch some nice fish, but it's hard work. Summer time, it's just nice relaxing. Um, get a bit of sun, get a little bit of rain, catch a few fish, so yeah, we aren't babbling on too much. Uh, cheers for watching. And, um, Hopefully, hopefully I'll get out soon and make some more videos. So yeah, cheers. Tight lines. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you later.